Hey guys, welcome back to Guitar Goodies, your YouTube hotspot for free guitar tips, tricks, and theory. I'm Chris Cash, and I'm here to bring you a Guitar Basics 101 video. We're gonna go over everything you need to know except how to play the guitar. We're gonna go over some history, genealogy, we're gonna go over the working mechanics of this thing, and we're also gonna go over where the notes are placed on this thing and how you tune it and why they're placed that way. So if you got it, your guitar, go ahead and grab it. I'll wait just a second. The guitar as you know it belongs to a family classified as plucked string instruments. Having 20 plus instruments, this family includes familiar favorites like the ukulele, the banjo, the cello, the violin, the sitar, and of course, the guitar. And all of these instruments belong to a family called the lute. That's L-U-T-E, not l o o t doesn't mean cash, although it can be, Chris Cash. No one knows the exact origin of where these plug string instruments come from, and there are many uh, claims to fame, but you can, they've even found images and hieroglyphics as far back as 3000 BC from Egypt, so pinpointing exactly where doesn't matter. Here's where we are today. Over the time, the lute has changed from its original form, playing anywhere from four double strings to five strings, and now we've settled at six, although you still can get seven and eight string guitars. And over the years, the strings have been made out of many things from nylon to sheep intestines, but what you're probably more familiar with is the steel wound string. And now that we know that you know what a string is, let's go over the rest of the parts of the guitar. The guitar pretty much is like a human body in its grouping. It's broken out of three major groups. You have the head or the headstock, the neck, and the body. Let's start at the head here. Here you have tuning pegs or tuning keys or machine heads, as you may hear them called, and they connect to a piece that's called the capstan or the string post. And this is where your string wounds around and this is what helps tune it. Don't touch it quite yet. Just know that it's there. So this is the worst part. Most young players, they start screwing around and this is how you tune your guitar. So if it is in tune, you start playing with them. Now nah, it's out of tune. If you don't know how to get it back in tune, there you go. Here you can also see some guitars have a hole. This one does, but it's covered. I have other guitars that do have a hole. In this hole is what's called a tress rod. And that's what helps keep the wood of the neck uh, kind of balanced and straight. You can do an adjustment on a tress rod if for some reason your action's off. Speaking of the neck, here we have a nut. This one's aluminum, but a lot of them are wood. This is what keeps the strings in place up here, keeps them apart from each other and keeps them in linear place as they travel over the neck or really as they travel over the fretboard. On the fretboard, you'll see some markings. I have some kind of bolty things here, but you probably have dots. And also on the top of the neck here, on, this, on what you consider the side, I guess, where you're, what's facing you, or, are some dots that correspond with those. So you new players, when you're trying to form a chord, please stop doing this and just hold it straight up. One, three, five, seven, nine, twelve. They're all right there. And I have dots, even though I have bolts over here, so if I couldn't really get with the bolts, I could still see the dots. And what these dots mark are the separate frets. Now some plug string instruments, like a violin, has no frets, but guitars do have frets to separate the strings to let us know where we are and also keep the tension correctly when we're trying to play a note so that it sounds good and clean. The neck leads, of course, directly into the body here. On the body, you'll notice a pick guard so that when you're playing, your pick doesn't really scratch it. And in that pick guard is housed some knobs. Usually, the one closest to you, to the strings here, is your volume, usually. Some guitars have different variations of volume knobs, multiple volume knobs, and underneath, same thing is also a tone knob, which doesn't change the way that the string sounds, the note, but the tone of it. If you're not really sure what that is, please go back and check out my Music Theory for Beginners class. I'll go ahead and set a link right up here. It also houses a selector switch, and this selects 
the range of pickups from which you're playing from. Now pickups on an electric guitar are magnetized, often magnetized, sometimes not, just still tubes that actually pick up the vibrations from the strings that you plug them. And there's some wiring underneath this plate as well. And that wiring is what leads to the jack that leads out. Down here, this is called a saddle in its entirety, which also houses the bridge, which is what catches your strings from the nut. And otherwise they just free float right across the uh, fretboard there. The amount of height from the guitar body to where the strings are is called the action. You really don't want high action, especially if you're new players, if you're having a real hard time starting out playing, it's probably why, your action's probably too high. On the verse side, when you start getting good, it's good to play with high action because then you can really start getting some exercise as you play. I suggest it. Most guitar strings go in the back. This one has just holes. This one actually has a plate board. And for another reason, it's because it has a whammy bar. This one does not have a whammy bar, so whammy. And this one doesn't have a whammy bar in it, but it does have a hole here. It has some spring tensions, or some tension springs here in the back that hold it all together so that you can actually whammy down. It's not plugged in right now, so we won't bother with it, but I think you can. Just in case you have an acoustic, let's look at one of those real quick, shall we? There's a little bit of difference on an acoustic here. Um, the strings on an acoustic tend to go down in a hole here, and these there's pegs here that keep them. Uh, the, there's a ball end, and the peg goes around. It's kind of complicated. Maybe we'll do another uh, video about strings later, but... Um, instead of pickups, an acoustic, if it's not plugged in, which this one does plug in, but if yours doesn't, an acoustic will have a sound which you can play without plugging it in. Hey, two out of three. We've already talked about genealogy and history. So having gone over the history, having gone over the parts, let's talk about the tuning real quick. There's one thing to remind you, again, if you haven't seen the music theory intro class, remember, all direction in music refers to the pitch. So up is up in pitch, meaning going higher in pitch or coming down, descending, going lower in pitch. So with guitar, same thing from the neck. If you're going towards the body, from the head going towards the body, you're going up because the sound goes up. The same thing with the strings. The deeper string is uh, lower and the top string is higher. So this is your first string, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then six. Don't forget that. Of course, the frets are one, two, three, four, five, and they go up accordingly, starting at one. Mine ends at 24. Most will end at 22 to 24. 24 is good, gives you a lot. So let's talk about how it's tuned. Now from the bottom string, because it's easier to see and it's easy to remember, and I already have an acronym picked out for it. And since this is the way everyone learns it, we're gonna go over the strings as they're laid out. This is E, A, D, G, B, and a repeat E. Now somewhere down the line, while the guitar was still another instrument, really uh, a lyre is what it's called, it only had five strings. And now of course this one has six, so they took the top or the bottom string as it were and repositioned it this way. This gives us a wider range of melody, gives us some bass to go along with it. Um, and the, way, the reason it's tuned the way that it is, E, A, D, G, B, E, is because everything forms a series of perfect fourths with the exception of one perfect third. Um, this is for beginner guitars, so I'm not gonna really get too much into music theory, but I'll probably do another video really getting into the meat of it later for you experienced guitarists and musicians out there who are just kind of curious about it. But it's, it's really tuned this way for ease of hand, for multiple chords, and not only that, but multiple harmonizing versions of these chords. Instead of just playing um, regular majors, we can reach the minors just as easy in most cases, and expand on it and throw on sevenths and even ninths are applicable accordingly. So that's why it's tuned in this shape. Actually, most plucked string instruments are tuned with perfect fifths going from the top string down. Strange. But it works, and it works well. And this, briefly, 
has been your Guitar Intro 101. Now you know the parts of the guitar, and now you know the family in which it sits, and now you know that your strings are E, A, D, G, B, E. And a great way to remember that is every amateur does get better eventually. You write that down. And if that's you, keep practicing. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. I'm going to have a bunch of videos coming out. Thanks a lot, guys. Chris Cash signing off. Guitar Goodies, your YouTube hotspot for free guitar tips, tricks, and theory. God bless you.